Now then, today I'm doing a brief investigation on a mobile phone. Now, interestingly enough, this was the first mobile phone I had for a long, long time. Where are we going? There we go. Yeah. And it was good enough. It did what it was supposed to do at the time. We're talking 90s probably. Yeah, something like that. Can't remember. Anyway, it's still... Oh, there's two of these stuck in the bottom of the drawer. Don't know what to do with them. Probably recycle them. And they had a SIM card in there that there was size of a normal credit card. They were huge. Anyway, there you go. I did move on to these. And these are great. They go in your pocket. Uh, touch wood. They're very difficult to break. You can um, you can phone with them. You can get text with them. And that's all you need to do with a mobile phone. Yeah. One of the benefits of these though is there's a camera and they have a normal sized SD card in them and you can transfer all your contacts and details and uh, phone book onto the SD card which is great then you can just shift it to another phone if you need to anyway this is the second one I've had of these and people to tend to donate them to me and this is a Nokia 6320i I like them but people donate them to me and I put them in a box and when I need a battery I just go and uh, go to the miscellaneous assorted and dig out another battery and see how it works so I must have had this one for I don't know 10 years something like that anyway the one before identical it ended up so I could hardly hear what was going on on a conversation so it's to do with the speaker anyway this one has done the same and I thought right let's have an investigate so I did do a bit of YouTube trawling and came out with a few clues so let's have a look shall we together because it's a good phone it's just that it's difficult to hear with any background noise but before it wasn't it was beautiful and clear let's have a look okay so take two really there's only me all right so there's no camera person or anything so I've got to try and see what the camera is doing and also think what I'm doing so I've marked out some stage marks as it were so let's see what happens First of all, and I've moved the lighting a bit, so I'm, this is, as I say, take two, so we'll try and get some better lighting. You press that, and then you put your thumb against there and pull, and that comes off. Anybody who's got this sort of phone will know that. Lift the battery out. That's where the SIM card goes. That's where the SD card goes. And of course the SD card is brilliant because you can keep all your contact numbers and everything on the SD card so if the phone dies you don't lose them. And you can put photos on there and all sorts of things. So moving it over then you either use a spodger or something like that or a strong thumbnail in there now this this case is a bit world weary and it should come out a bit easier than this but there we go that's the top case And then we have, and I'll just zoom in a bit, zoom in a bit, we have these six screws. 
and they are a talk. T6X. So we'll just undo those. So we'll just zoom out a bit. There we go. Doesn't take much to get them undone. Bit difficult to light this properly because the uh, everything's so fiddly. And as we see with Big Clive, he's always fiddling with the lighting and the focus and all those sorts of things. That is a bit of the front case. And these front cases, obviously, you can buy those, a front and a back, um, very easily. So that lifts off. That's the keyboard or the, the pad. Okay, and then that lifts off. So if you undo those so six screws, and that is... That's all the things you have to undo, really. Now, I'm just going to point out, you see this little round thing here, and that round one there. They are contact pads. And I'm assuming they're gold-plated. But that's the thing we need to think about with this. Let me put that down there. Now, I need to zoom in about the, on this. And I'm trying to think backwards by operating this camera. Now, hopefully, you can see. I'll just get rid of that glare. That's the camera. And this here, and it's got one, two, three contacts, is the DC input from the battery. And then as we move down, that is the SD card connections. Okay, so coming back up, you see these two contacts there. Yeah, those two contacts line up with these two contacts on the inside of the case, and that is for one of the speakers. Okay, so we need to clean that, those, and clean these. And I'll just do it with some switch cleaner and um, just a light rub. Yeah, maybe a cotton bud or something like that. Yeah, and I'll clean those up. Okay, so you don't need to see that. So there are other contacts on here. There are some here. Yeah. And there are some down here, and there are some down the bottom. So it'd be a good idea to clean them all. And on the bottom of this this back case, as it were, see that's where the SD card goes. On the bottom here, there are loads of contacts. And this one here is where the DC comes in. For the, that's the charging port so again we need to clean stuff make sure it's good contact okay now let me just zoom out a bit right on this side here let me turn it over again those two contacts there come through and with a spudger or something like that, you can pop this bit of a case off. Okay. And there, zooming in. 
Ah, oh, that, that's better than when I did it last time. That is a speaker there. And you can see that little notch there that locates it. I'll just pop that out. There we go. And on this speaker, I'm trying to hold this. And just there is a little contact. And just there is a little contact. I don't know whether you can see those. You might be able to. Anyway, I've got to clean those contacts. Yeah. Well, perhaps you can see them now. So clean those contacts, okay? And those contacts contact with those two pads there. Okay, and those two pads there are those two contacts there. So we need to clean all that lot. So I'm going to clean all that lot. You don't need to see that. Yeah. And then we're going to start putting things back together. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Those contacts are cleaned. There you can see those contacts now. Right. So we take the speaker and we drop it in there. And the little tab that's locating tab goes in that slot. Okay. So then on here there are three contacts. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but I've given them a clean. So we just put that back together and pop that in. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so that is that bit done. Yep. So then the camera there goes into that recess there. And there are six little upstands that hold everything in place right there okay we just need to clean that right I think we're getting there so we've cleaned every contact we've had a look at that um, speaker we'll put that back on there now there's another interesting thing here just here and I think we need to zoom down on this again that there in the case I think that is another speaker there's a little hole where are we? There's a little hole there from the front. Okay, and it goes through to that thing there. And if you can see, there's a little contact there and a little contact there. I'm just going to see if I can pop that out to see what it's about. But I think that is a little speaker. So that probably wants those contacts giving a bit more spring as in levering them up slightly and cleaning them. Just give me a second and I'll try and pop that thing out. So we've got a, a Stanley knife. Okay. Right, it's interesting. I don't know, I think it's a speaker. Let me zoom in. And then we need to just adjust the camera a bit. Really difficult because I'm... Okay, so we've got 
just typical isn't it we've got this little thing with a fine gauze on the front and two little contacts on the back and there's a little hole that comes through to it in this case there and the little hole is just there it's a bit difficult for the camera to focus on this um, on this black stuff but there you go so I think that's what that is I was expecting a lot of muck in that uh, case but isn't so I'm just going to pop that back in there off camera and then we'll continue putting this together okay so I pop that back in there and I've eased those those contacts up just a bit and I've cleaned them so I'm hoping that that will make uh, will improve the sound also so then have we got everything we have and we put that back down on there and then we start putting it back together and now I'm going to cut back to my original footage at this point and hopefully it will all match up and I will just put these back together and then it's just a matter of giving it a road test but the main thing is what I'm showing you here is this is a T6 uh, where are we there we go that's a T6 torque bit for taking these screws out and actually you know you'd think oh take a mobile phone apart leave it out but this is from an era prior to corporate well no, no it's not prior to corporate theft but it's prior to an era where you know they made it impossible to take these things apart so yet more of a reason to try and keep these things going for as long as possible because I don't really need to be able to access in my emails when I'm on the move yeah, and all that sort of thing as far as I'm concerned that leads to, leads to a very pressured life yeah and I don't think I want that really now hopefully um, we've explored a few issues we don't really know we don't really want or need to uh, see whether this is any better or not that will be just for me to experiment but the thing here is to give you an idea that you can you know, it's nothing to be frightened of and if somebody says do you want this Nokia 6 two, what is it now it's a 6230i you go Andy Reynolds collects those yes and it's better than this thing that I had years ago okay hopefully you enjoyed this found it interesting entertaining I do think it's important for to be able to fix things uh, it improves um, not only your personal skills but it reduces your carbon footprint etc etc um, catch up with you soon cheers for now <laughs>